going to the next type one uh, one uh, typical metal semiconductor junction is what we have seen now and it is going we have seen the operation of the metal semiconductor uh, region in the forward bias and reverse bias condition another type of metal semiconductor junction is called as the ohmic contact the ohmic contact means if you want to take a metallic if you want to create a terminal on a semiconductor uh, region for example you uh, we have seen the fabrication of mosfet so we need to define three terminals source drain and gate and you have to take wire from the semiconductor region to create the terminal called source drain and gate right so that type of uh, contact is called as ohmic contact so i am going to have a heavily doped semiconductor and in that i am going to form a metal i am going to insert a metal to get the contact so here the current will be conducted equally in both directions and there will be a very little voltage drop across the junction the normal semiconductor metal junction we have studied this is the conventional thing whatever we have studied now is the conventional thing but there is one more type of metal semiconductor junction which is available which is uh, which becomes significant when you are going to fabricate the family of transistors so when bjt means you have to uh, fabricate three terminals base emitter and collector in fet means i have to fabricate source drain and gate so whenever you are going to pick up those uh, uh, layers from the heavily doped semiconductor region so you are going to insert metallic wires into those regions so you have a metal semiconductor region formed and that is going to be a example of another metal semiconductor junction and uh, there you will have current flow happening and the junction is going to contribute for a very little voltage drop across the junction so this ohmic contact is used to connect one device to another or one ic to another ic or one ic to external terminals so there are lot of application of this ohmic contact see uh, in bjt we have seen uh, we have two terminals called base and virtual base virtual base is present inside the transistor but what you see is the actual base b so when you how you want to connect the base and virtual base using ohmic contact only and if from base if you want to take a wire which you will identify it as base when you do in lab so for that also i need to establish an ohmic contact so ohmic contact is used to connect one semiconductor device to another semiconductor device or to an ic or connecting an ic to its external terminals it is this type of contact is very much famous in semiconductor devices so metal semiconductor conventional metal semiconductor contacts cannot offer a resistance as low that of two metals connected together so when you connect metal metal junction the resistance will be very low because you have metals have enormous amount of electrons and these electrons will move contributing to current when heavy current is going to flow the resistance is going to be less correct so when you compare conventional metal metal junction the resistance will be almost zero but when you form a metal semiconductor junction you cannot have such a low resistance because semiconductors the conductivity of semiconductors depends on the applied voltage that's what they are saying when you are having a metal semiconductor junction it cannot offer a low resistance as that of a metal metal junction and the reason i have told you okay so metal semiconductor junctions can act as a rectifying junction or an ohmic contact depending on the fermi level of the metal and semiconductor used yes depending on how we are going to make them come into contact and what biasing you are going to provide you can either use them as a rectifying junction or an ohmic contact so ohmic contact means it is going to be offering low resistance low resistance means the device is on device is on means heavy current is flowing when will heavy current flow when you are going to forward bias the so ohmic contact means i am going to use it as a when it is a for, for in the forward bias rectifying junction means the device is off or no current is flowing or the potential barrier width is very large or the device is in reverse bias the so forward bias la i am going to use it as a ohmic contact reverse bias la i am going to use it as a rectifying junction the so proper choice of the metal semiconductor junction can offer a low resistance ohmic contact alternatively you can make the potential barrier thinner and thinner by heavily doping the semiconductor so when you dope it thinner and thinner 
diodes are going to be tunnel diodes another type of diode which are going to use this type of uh, the contact and that is going to be the ohmic contact so for now understand we have two types of uh, metal semiconductor junction one is going to be the conventional metal semiconductor junction and the special case is going to be the ohmic contact which is going to involve the metal semiconductor junction with having a very little voltage drop so i can say uh, in uh, in forward bias when the device is going to be on or the metal semiconductor device is going to be on the current is going to be very very minimum and the uh, the device is set to be on and the resistance is also going to the current is large and the resistance is going to be minimum in the reverse bias case the current is going to be zero or the resistance is going to be very very large on the device is set to be in off state okay so that is going to be called as a rectifying junction so the how we are going to use the metal semiconductor junction as a rectifying junction or as a ohmic contact will depend on what uh, what semiconductor you are going to use what metal you are going to use and what is the fermi level of both of them so we have seen a tabular column having a lot of metals and semiconductors right so you, the behavior for uh, every combination will not be same aluminum silicon will behave differently aluminum germanium will behave differently aluminum gallium oxide will behave different so it all depends on what metal and what semiconductor i am going to use and what is the work function and what is the electron affinity function for all these devices okay so in depth uh, understanding of ohmic contact with energy band diagram we'll see in the tomorrow's class okay so in depth uh, explanation for the ohmic contact we will see tomorrow for now we have seen the introduction to ohmic contact and how ohmic contact is established in the semiconductor device and what is the purpose of having an ohmic contact we have seen so far in the discussion today